Right guys, we're at Keelani Raceway and this is the launch of the KTM Super Duke R. 1301cc. Basically a RC8 engine that's got a longer stroke, wider bore. We've already ridden it on the road. It, as you can expect, it's a bit of an animal. 134 kilowatts, 144 newton meters. Some of you might be interested to know about the different driving modes. So there's the, the screen. Quickly gonna flick through all the options you have, general info, favorites, settings. There's all the settings, ABS, traction control. And it's currently in sport and then there's a street and a rain mode. On the road we obviously have it on street, on sport, throttle response is different. And also, um, yeah, basically um, throttle response and a bit of the, the, as the throttle response changes, the delivery of the engine also changes a bit. But on sport it's its most extreme. So we're going to quickly head out on the track and I'll just talk you through how it feels like on the track. Right guys, a quick lap of Kilano. Not gonna try to set a lap time. Just wanna talk you through it. The Super Duke is currently in sport mode. So a bit of a sensitive throttle, which is which actually I officially want some track. the level of torque doesn't matter if you have four, five, six or seven thousand RPM the bike will just burn the handlebars is narrower than you expect compared to something like a hyper motor it's just well enough and I don't feel I have a confidence that Managing the bike and putting the feeling on the handlebars. The back step, nice and off. 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 The back the seat allows you to move around and up logos. That's in the format. Very easy on the side. This is the equivalent of a C63, and not that, the Black Series. It's just happy to be there. I think it's great to be fast. aftermarket fight. It's gonna be so loud. Horrible I know. Most of the law they can actually do the third year. Depending on how fast you wanna go. Yeah. 
Right guys, that was a brief introduction to the 1290, the Super Duke R. Um, as you see it here, this is the standard spec. Then you'll also get it in a race spec that's approximately, I think, 14 kilograms lighter. And then there's also a touring spec which adds some soft panniers on the side of the bike. WP suspension, orange and white frame. Like I said, it revs to about 10 and the red light goes on. Um, it will cost 179,000 Rand, farther short of 180. Something totally different. Not really a direct competitor for this. Maybe BMW's S1000R that's on the way. But yes, KTM has really hit the nail on the head with this bike. It is a monster, but you can drive it every day. It's not that intimidating if you behave with the throttle. So that's it. The new Super Duke R.